Assalamu alaikum friends my name is Muhammad Yunus and I am Odo technical developer so if you haven't subscribed to our channel please click the subscribe button to subscribe to our channel and also click the bell icon so that you can get the updates of the upcoming videos so in today's video we are going to talk about the default values and how to add the option of archive and unarchive for any record in Odo so any field in uh, Odo can be given a default value uh, except some of the fields like uh, the computed field in the fields definition uh, like for adding a, a default value you just need to add uh, an option like uh, a parameter default is equal to x so x can be a python literal you can say like a boolean an integer value float and string or it can be a function uh, taking uh, a record set and it will return the value okay so I will discuss uh, both of these options. So for example, in this case, you uh, we have defined a field like tape is equal to fields are char of type char and default is equal to unknown. So whenever you try to create a new record, it will return you uh, the value of this field will be unknown by default. In this case, uh, we have user ID is equal to fields are many to what with the model raise dot users. A default value is like a lambda function where a lambda self uh, so this is the how you can define a lambda function uh, self dot env dot user so like what is the uh, what is like self dot env so the object self dot env gives access to request parameter and other useful things so what you can do using uh, self dot env so uh, you can use self.env.cr to uh, execute the database query directly uh, like and uh, another thing like self.env.uid uh, will return the user id which is currently logged in the same way self dot uh, underscore uid will return the current logged in user self dot env dot user will return the record set of uh, the current login user it will return an integer id it will return uh, the user record set self dot env uh, dot context will return you the context uh, which we will discuss uh, in the upcoming videos self dot env dot ref will uh, so you can find the id of uh, any example a record using self dot env dot ref and self dot env uh, and then at the model name will create an instance of the given model so you can uh, search a record inside any model using the instance of uh, a record okay so here we have the exercise so we need to add active uh, objects default values so first is uh, like how you can add a default value for any field so what we need to do is for the start uh, date field we need to use uh, the current date uh, as the default uh, date so if we go here uh, in the session so if we try to create uh, the session so the start date is uh, empty currently so what we uh, want to do is uh, to add uh, like some default value default value should be the current date so here uh, we will add uh, the default parameter and then we need to add the value like so you can add some constant value uh, the date time value or you we need to add the current date so whatever the current date it should be added on the field so for this purpose what we need to do is fields dot date dot uh, context today okay we need to do it like this so this is how uh, this will pick the date current date uh, at the basis of the uh, user time zone okay so uh, let me restart the service because we have made a change inside the python and then uh, refresh this page or uh, let me just go to sessions again let me try to click on the create so here you can see it picked at uh, the current date okay sorry so it picked at uh, the current date like 31 okay so this is how you can define the uh, like uh, define the default value so how you can pass a function uh, like in the default value so here you can also add a function so for example if we add here default uh, compute uh, current date 
update like this. So we need to add like this. So we need to define the fill like this current date. So here we get add like retard the current date field start date dot uh, context today and pass self here. This is how we can do it. And let me restart our service. And the same way it will return the current date in this case also. So let me refresh the page. So we got an error message, but we seek argument. So here we, uh, okay, we need to do it like this. And let me restart. So uh, uh, the restart is done. So let me refresh the page. And let's see. Okay, so let me try to uh, like create a record. So here you can see the it returns the current date. So this is how you get uh, define a function and uh, inside the function you can return uh, the value after some uh, computation. So uh, this is how you can define the default value. So the second thing we want to add is uh, like if we go to the contacts and click contacts and let me open the search view and here if I click here and here we can see archive button. The same way if we go to the open academy and sessions uh, we cannot see this archive button okay so how we can edit so we can edit uh, just by adding the active field is equal to boolean it should be of type boolean and here we need to define the value like default value for this uh, active field so the default value for this one should be true uh, like uh, uh, it should be true active uh, by default. So let me just restart Odoo service and then we need to upgrade the module because we have a, added a field inside the view. So click upgrade button to upgrade the module and uh, after the module upgrade we will be able to see the archive button and once uh, the record is archived then we will be able to see the unarchive button to unarchive the record. Uh, okay so the module has been uh, upgraded go to open academy open academy and go to sessions select it and here you can see archive and archive button so if we click here so this record will uh, get archived like you can see it is disappeared so if we uh, here uh, it like uh, show me the records that are active false so you will see this record and if you try to unarchive it it will show again like this we remove this so you can see three records so this is how easily you can edit